Good morning. It is my official day 30 of my insanity journey. Day 30. Now, of course, that has me in recovery week. That's just fine. I'm really loving this recovery week program. It's a program that I do every day this week. It's um, I always get it wrong. Cardio, core, and balance. Yesterday, I actually did it twice. I know that sounds crazy, but I did it in the morning. Number one, because it's part of my program, and number two, because I wanted to preview it for Fit Club. I decided that it would be perfect for my Fit Club, and I told you that yesterday. I said, I'm coming for you with insanity. So today I want to talk with you about the word completion. Completion. Last night I arrived at Fit Club, and I had asked a friend to bring her laptop because mine is in the shop. I didn't think that uh, because her laptop is a Mac, it would not be compatible without an adapter to my projector. So already we had a problem. We couldn't project insanity on the wall because we didn't have an adapter. So we decided, well, you know what, we'll just put it to the side and we'll just, you know what, because we want to do this so badly, we'll just do it off of the computer today. We'll just gather around, you know, <clears throat> even though the screen will be small and we'll do it. It wouldn't play the DVD. So she called her husband, she called her sister. We all tried to brainstorm on how we could get a working laptop here. Finally, a friend of mine reached her dad, left the studio, went to get the laptop, came back. We set it up with the projector. We put the DVD in. We go to increase the sound, and the, the machine would not recognize my speakers, my extra speakers, to make the volume loud enough for all of us to hear in the room. We had one hurdle after another, and what did we choose to do? We chose to do insanity in silence. The only sound was a little murmur coming from the computer speakers, not my extra speakers, and whatever I was saying to try to keep them going. And a lot of times the women were like, just keep talking, Jolene, because it's, it's distracting us from the pain that we're enduring. So completion. I don't think we know how to complete things any longer. We get to the end of the day and we haven't gotten through some of the things that we that we wanted to do. We haven't gotten things done on our to-do list. Probably that's because we're packing too much into the day, and what we're packing into the day has no correspondence to what our priorities even are. We just think, i got to get these things done, but we haven't sat down to think about what are my priorities, what is important, and then building a to-do list off of that. We don't know how to complete. Part of the goal of Beachbody, along with transforming one's physical body, sure, okay, it's an exercise program. It's an exercise company. It's a fitness company. But part of the journey is coming to a place where you have actually completed something. And you can say, I completed that. And we've lost that. We've lost that sense of completion. I don't know what kind of things are hanging, you know, like, like, or dangling in your life that you need to complete. I have no idea. I had some of my own things. I wanted to go back to doing theater, so I did it. I wanted to write, so I did it. These were all things that were just hanging there that had not been completed. Right now, I'm trying to complete getting us out of debt. I will do that because that is part of, it's coming out of a place of what my priority is. Completion. Doesn't matter if you have a perfect workout today. It just matters if you did it. And you can say, I did it. We've lost the art of completion. And last night, I was in a room with a number of women who get it. Who get it. They were not going to leave that room until we did insanity. And we did. What do you need to complete? What do you need to complete? I want you to think about that today. See you later.